How you doing today? I've been thinking about these fish for a minute. I think those are supposed to be real fish in a force field fish tank or just a holographic fish in tank in general. Who knows? They just do circles. They just do laps. Or maybe it's glass. Curious. Let's do a 10 hour video of just this. But anyway, welcome to the USS Da Bears, because I'm a Bears fan. This is the standard, just origin bridge, so there's nothing special here. I just wanted to talk about the fish for a minute. I do like the view screen, though. But anyway, let's get to the, let's get to the ship. So here's the ship, the USS Da Bears, named after the Chicago Bears. And it's a Sovereign Class Assault Cruiser. It's a standard T5, no... You. This is my, my actual T5 ship I used from level 40 on until I got started getting fancy ships. Yeah, I love it. Plus, it's the Enterprise E. Can't go wrong there. This one is a Polaron build. So, up front, we've got Thoron infused Polaron beam bank, dual beam bank. I'm just gonna, when I do these, I'm just gonna do this so you guys can, you know, read what it does. And a Vaudoir Polaron emitter. I used to have on my Dreadnought, but then I switched. We'll go over that later. Phased Polaron Dual Beam Bank. Decent accuracy. And then the Krenum Chronoton Torpedo Launcher. And that is part of the four-piece set, which we will wait till we get to the fourth part of that. But anyway, that's got a proc. 25% chance plus shield power. But the four-piece set boosts it up to 50%. after activating torpedo weapons. So in the rear we got the chronometric Polaron beam array, which is the second part of that set. We got the Romulan Hyper Plasma Torpedo Launcher. I like to leave that as a gift as I'm passing the enemy. Just kind of drop it off. The standard Polaron beam array and the omnidirectional chrono chronometric Polaron beam array, which is the third part of the set. So down here we just got batteries, uh, just a turret, and a battery. We got the Nukara Crystalline Resilient Shields, which is from the Reputation. Uh, no set bonuses there, but it does some decent things. And it also has a visual, so normally the ship looks like that. But with the shield, it looks like that. Apparently that did something the ship reacted to. I don't know. You got the Soul Defense Deflector Array. The Kabali Hyper Impulse Engines. Right? What does that do? Oh, okay. Kabali Hyper Impulse Engines. No sets. And the Obelisk Subspace Rift Warp Core. That I used to think was the fastest warp core. I know now it's not. But I have that one too. Somewhere else. All right, so here's the fourth part, the chronometric capacitor. Boosts the Polaron damage and torpedo damage and what gives you low weapon power. And then here's what the set bonuses do. Auxiliary, auxiliary boosts. Some energy weapons buff while you're firing. And then it increases the proc chance of the, of the torpedo. And just the standard Polaron boosts the prolonged engagement power dynamo because I have too many of those. They're free once you buy it once. It's just free. Yeah, I did no sets there, just that. The temporally shielded data core. It's decent. Got an EPS flow, even though I never transfer power. And once in a while. And it helps. It helps. I, f I think it also helps restore power once it's lost. I don't know. Resistances, hull restoration, resistance. And stat wise, we got 72,000 hull, 13,000 shield. Pretty good resistances to most everything. But it is slow and it does not turn well. The turn rate is 16.7, which isn't that great, but it's alright. 
quick look on the outside of the ship. Here it is. There's the Earth. It's a nice ship. That's what the shield does. It gives you that yellow impulse trail or, or nacelle, warp nacelle trail. I guess the impulse trail is still red. So yes, there's my ship. The USS De Bears. Sovereign class. As usual, the combat vid links to the combat videos will be in the description. And links to this video will be in the description of those videos. So we'll see you out there. I'm not going anywhere.